And would you believe it, guys, it actually says it's now currently installed the application. So just like that, we've now officially sideloaded our first application onto our Roku device. OK, so you have a Roku device and you're wondering, can you really jailbreak or sideload on this device? Now, jailbreaking, as I'm sure you know, really is a term for Apple devices. But essentially, it just means can you install applications on your device from unofficial sources? Now, in the case of the Roku device, can I install an application which is outside the Roku channel store? And the answer is yes, because if I scroll down, we can see on my Roku device, I've now installed this third party Smarters application, which I can then use to log into different providers and get access to all of the content that I want. So in this video today, let me show you very quickly how you can enable the hidden developer menu on your Roku device. And through this developer menu, you can then upload files, upload packages, upload applications directly onto your Roku, effectively giving you access to install any application that you like. All you need to do is just hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Okay, so to access this hidden developer menu, we need to press some keystrokes on the remote control. So let's do that now. Here is the remote control and that key press is basically pressing the home button three times up twice, then right, left, right, left, right, left, I think. So let's do that now and let's see if that works first time. So here is the home button. So one, two, three, up twice, then right, left, right, left, right. And there you are, guys. So very quickly we can see we've now accessed the developer menu and it says the development application installer allows developers to test their own applications. To enable this installer, you have to select enable installer and restart. Once you've enabled the installer, once your Roku has restarted, you can then access the installation menu by using the IP address there and it gives you a username to use and you can set a password. So let's do that now. I'm going to click on enable installer and restart. And you now see the security warning, which is pretty standard. All companies try to tell you that if you start installing applications from unofficial sources outside the official application store, the Amazon App Store, the Google Play Store, or in this case, the Roku Channel Store, you could be putting your device at risk. So we'll click on continue. Give that a second. And now asks you to accept these developer tools license agreement. So let's click on I agree gives you another caution so you can see they really are trying to put people off doing this but let's click on enable install and restart give that a second that should then reboot my Roku device and that development mode should then be enabled and I can then access that mode by going to a particular IP address which I will do from my computer but in reality you can use any phone any tablet any other device on the same network you can connect to the IP address and you should be able to then upload your third party applications to your Roku device. So let's see how that works. OK, my device is now rebooted. I didn't see any other messages about the developer menu, but let's just go back into that a second because you will see that my device didn't prompt me to set a password. Now, when you do this for the first time, it will actually ask you to set that. I suspect on my device as the password was set before it never prompted me. So let's have a quick look at that password. Let's just access the menu again. So once again, we're going to press home button three times. So one, two, three, up twice, then right, left, right, left, right. Let's see now if we do get an option to. Yeah, so you can see now on my device, I get the option to reset password. So let's just do that now. And I can now just set any password I want. So for this quick test, I'm going to set a very small password, a very short password. That's now set and that's now all ready to go. So that means now when I connect to the IP address, just to confirm, we can see the IP address I need to connect to ends in 104. So let's now jump over to another machine on the same network as my Roku device. Here we are. So I can open up any browser. I'm just going to use Chrome. Let's now type in the IP address. So 192.168.0.104. We can see we now get the prompt for those credentials. So the default username is Roku dev and the password that I set, which was just a simple one. 
press enter and we are now inside the development application installer. So this really is the only way we can sideload our own applications onto our Roku device by using this development application installer. So the question is, how do we now find these applications which are actually compatible with the Roku operating system, which runs a flavor of Linux or Linux? Well, in this example, let's see if I can upload an IPTV-like uh, application, which is compatible with Linux, and more importantly, it works with the Roku platform. So how do we get it? Well, if we just navigate over to my website, which is just techdoctoruk.com, I can now click on tutorials and the latest tutorial in the list will be how you can jailbreak or sideload onto your Roku device. Let's open that up. Here we are. So I've got the step-by-step -step instructions here. Here you can see those key presses, the home button three times, up twice and so on and so forth. You can see all of the screenshots there. So if you prefer to read these steps, you can of course do that. Keep scrolling down and you can see here that before you actually download this application you need, you do need to add a new custom channel to your Roku device. Now the way you do that is if you go to myroku.com, let me do that now. So now that I've signed in, I now need to add a custom channel. So if you scroll down, you can see there's an option here, add a channel using a code. And this is the option we need to select when we're trying to sideload this particular third party IP TV platform. So let's click on that now, add a channel. And now once you enter in the channel access code, and that access code is just that, which I will also display on the screen. Let's type that in. Let's see if that accepts it. Okay, you get a warning saying this is not a certified channel, which is to be expected. Roku owns everything. That's fine. We're happy with that. Roku may remove this channel. Yep, we're fine with that. I can scroll down and let's click on OK. And you now see the prompt asking you, do you want to add this channel to your account? And you can see the official logo there. So let's click on yes, add channel. It says this has now been added. It, says it may take some time to show up, but that's fine. I can now click on return to my account and that part of the process is now complete. So, so let's now jump back to my tutorial page and we can now move down to step three, which is actually downloading those installation files. So keep scrolling down. You can see the step-by-step -step instructions there. And it's all of that. We now have the download that particular package to your computer. And I have left this short code link here. So let's click on that now. Let's give that a second. Okay, we get to see this page here. I can click on continue and click on download. And I should then download that particular package to my computer and we can see it's done exactly that. Once that's finished, let's now go back to the Roku development application installer. And I can now click on the option upload because we want to upload that package we've just downloaded. So let's click on that now. Let's go to my downloads. And here is the latest package that we've just downloaded. So it's very small, just over a meg in size. I can select that and click on open. And here we can see the package here ready for installation. Now that we see the package there, I can now click on install, install with zip, says it's installing application. And would you believe it guys, it actually says it's now currently installed the application. So just like that, we've now officially sideloaded our first application onto our Roku device. That's working great. So I can now leave that as is. Let's now jump over to our Roku and let's see in real time if we see anything different on the home page. Let me jump over now. And would you believe it guys, not only do you see it, it actually opens up the application on your device. So I wasn't actually expecting that. Let me back out of this. We can see our applications there. And if I scroll down, there we have it guys, directly on the home page. I now see this third party application we've just sideloaded. So the next time somebody tells you that you can't sideload on a Roku device, show them this video, take a screenshot. As we've demonstrated today, you definitely can. I can now open that up. Now, obviously I can't go into details on your URLs and your credentials. Obviously that's going to depend on your particular provider, but you can enter those in and you should be able to then access the content that you've subscribed for. So let's back out of that. And really guys, this is just the tip of the iceberg because if this application can be rewritten from Android to run on the Roku device. There are many other very, very popular applications that can be rewritten, Stremios or your cinemas or all of those other favorite applications those applications could be rewritten and I do think they'll be very, very popular on the Roku platform because as you guys know, it is a very, very popular streaming device 
probably because of its simplicity, probably because it's, you know, fairly cheap. It does work really well. It's really responsive. It doesn't really have any adverts on the home screen. None of that typical Amazon sponsored content. It just works really well. So if we can now potentially get more applications, more of our favorite third party applications to run on this platform, I think the device would be even more popular. So really appreciate your support. Do like and share this video with other Roku users or people that believe that you can't sideload on Roku. And I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.